What up everyone, it's the Ali, the Reverend of the Revolution. Welcome to your daily revolution. Today's topic, do your homework or you will die. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. As a business owner, as an entrepreneur, so often I see people who have ideas to go start a business, and rightly so. We live in a modern era, a time and an age where it is easier to start a business, it is easier to make money and to be profitable than it was, say, 20, 30 years ago. Now, the problem with this is all the other entrepreneurs, I'm not saying other entrepreneurs, I mean the, the pitch men, the guys who want to sell you stuff. So cryptocurrency becomes this kind of this big thing, and all of a sudden you have all these crypto courses. Buy my crypto course. You see Amazon, obviously Amazon's been around for a while, and all of a sudden you see everyone learn how to make more money on Amazon. There's always gonna be a pitch guy who's gonna pitch you the how-to. And there's nothing wrong with that. Again, they see an opportunity in the marketplace and they're going to exploit it. But here's what I want you to really see. If you are the person who is unwilling to do homework, you know, your research, Go and like really look at every piece of the market, the trends, the ups, the downs, the positives, the negatives. If, if you are unwilling to do your homework, you're gonna die. You're gonna become extinct. You will get beat in the marketplace. I'll give you a couple of examples of people that I've been speaking with recently, coaching, being coached. Look, we have an idea eight weeks ago to do this large meeting called the Prosperity Revolution Live like in person. Now we run our small events, if you've been following me for a while or this is the first time, you can go to manwealth.com or shieldmadeinlive.com. Those are a small group, right? Eight to 16, 20 people tops. Deep transformation. But eight weeks ago, I'm sitting here in my, my home and I'm thinking, man, I really want to reach more people. I wanna reach out into the marketplace. I see guys like Jim Rohn, who's passed on, a Darren Hardy, a Tony Robbins, uh, uh, even uh, my good friend Russell Brunson. And they are doing these, you know, 3,000, 5,000, 10,000. Now, I love it because they're doing the thing that I want to do, which is reach and teach people, impact generations. So, I have this idea eight weeks ago, and it's not like we're brand new in the marketplace. We know what it takes to go put some people in a room inside of a seat and change their lives. But we wanted to go do it on a large scale. So I had this idea and over a week's period, I do my homework. Now I say a week because I've been doing this for the last four and a half, almost five years. Actually, the truth is I started doing my own events back in 2007, 2008, 2009. So it's been at least 11 years in this industry of teaching, training, recruiting, teaching, training, selling. After a week of doing my homework, like I really looked at my homework, what's required? And the last thing I wanna do is be pitched. Like have someone tell me it's easy. Every time I have someone say, it's so easy, you could do it in less than seven clicks. You know, clicks of, of the mouse on, on your computer. I know they're lying. Nothing's easy. Get this through your head, my friends. Nothing is easy. You just become more skilled, stronger, bigger, faster, more intelligent. You become more resourceful. But it's not easy to go make $10 million or 100 million. So let's come back to my story. We, we decide one week we're gonna do this. And then we commit to it. And tomorrow, Whenever you get this on uh, the beginning of April, obviously we're, this is being recorded in April, we roll up the Prosperity Revolution Live, and that's prorevlive.com. Now people will say, wow, you, you have over 100 people who bought tickets who are traveling from around the country, from around the world. People come from Sweden. You have people flying here in September, wow. It looks you, you make it look easy. Look, that's what professionals do. We make it look easy. A, a professional athlete, they make it look easy. A public speaker, they make it look easy. A doctor, well, I don't know if a doctor's ever gonna make it look easy. I mean, he cuts you open, takes your heart out. But how did all this come about? Because we did our homework. I do my homework. A research. Now, I don't take 10 weeks to research. Depending on the business, I might need to, or I might need to start really slow and scale. 
But don't be fooled by all these online marketers and these infomercials that it's easy. Because it's not. Listen, my friends, this is going to take some time. It's not easy. It takes time. And if you are stuck in the trap of thinking, you know what? I saw this idea. Amazon looks easy. I'm going to go do Amazon and make money. And then you, you get into it and realize it's not. It's because you didn't do your homework. Did you know that in 2016? And I know this because, again, I coach entrepreneurs and people in the, in the business world. Amazon in 2016, 375 million partners. You know, people who sell. 375 million. Look at the math. Guess what uh, 2017 was? 500 million. Amazon's a juggernaut. You can't really say that they're a monopoly because they just provide a platform and they have hundreds of millions of people selling. Their goal, no doubt, is to have a billion partners. In fact, if you're listening to this, there's a good chance that you might be one of those. Now, how did this all come about? Because I have a client who is wanting to scale his business and looking for more money. And I went and dug in and principle six asked, I started asking questions. And only to realize he has not done his homework. He's still on the surface thinking, dude, this is fine. We, we, we got a boat. We got some fish. We can go from California to Hawaii. We'll be okay. Everyone else said they could do it. But if he doesn't change, he's going to die. His, his business is going to fizzle out. It's going to be overtaken. Do your homework. There's so many pitchmen out there pitching you on diets. Pitching you on foods, pitching you on businesses, pitching you on marketing systems, when half of these clowns have never done the thing that they're proclaiming to do. They got some course, they saw something, they took some certification course, paid a lot of money for it, but they really don't know how to help you. Your job is to do your homework. Do your homework on the people you're hiring. Do your homework on the business idea. I take a look at any person who's trying to go, again, Amazon, online marketing, and why am I so hyped up about this? I remember a few years ago thinking, man, Toys R Us is going to probably go out of business just like Blockbuster did. And sure enough, they're out of business. Why? The, the, the new generation, the millennials, they shop with their phones. They're not trying to go to no store. I think the next person going down, like Sears, is already out of business pretty much. Nordstrom, you better watch out. You're probably already going down. Why? Because in the mall, like the biggest cat doesn't have to pay rent typically. But now, Nordstrom, you're not the biggest cat. It's probably Apple most likely. And what do I know? The new generation of buyers, their phone is stuck to them more than they are stuck to their beliefs. Everyone's got their phone on them. We buy off of our phones. We buy. So if you're a business owner, entrepreneur, do your homework. Stay sharp. Stay up to date. Innovate. You're going to become like Sears. You're going to become like Toys R Us. You'll become like Blockbuster. You'll become like Nokia, Kodak. If you fail to do your homework and innovate and stay in the forefront of the marketplace, you're going to die. Like It's tough to be on top. It is. Just look at the Patriots. Just look at any organization. No king stays on top of the hill for very long because everyone's trying to get to the top of the mountain. And the greatest way you can combat this is to do your homework. What would doing your homework look like? Number one, it would look like you getting really clear about what you want. Being clear and making sure that the thing that you want is the thing that you want. Number two, it's taking time to go beyond Google. Look, Google gives you the basics. They give you not just enough to kind of like wet your tongue, wet your taste, like, okay. But if you really want to do your homework, you're going to go pay for it. A good friend of mine is an attorney. He's like, yeah, we spend six figures just to process paper, just to go through things. Can you imagine spending six figures? My goodness, the company, there's companies who spend seven figures just to go through emails and look at files. That's called doing your homework. Doing your homework is really taking the time to define what's required inside of the path. One of the models that we teach, like step number three, define what's required. Doing your homework is, let me go see what's required to actually go do this thing. 
how much running, how much food, how much weight, how much sleep, or if it's in the business, how much money, how much marketing, what skills do I lack so I can go get proficient? Who am I going to have to hire? And like, there's a cost doing your homework. One of the biggest questions you could ask is what's going to really cost me. If I do it, what's it going to cost me if I don't do it? Do your homework, people. Do it. If you don't do it, you're going to die. Do your homework with your children. Like literally do their homework. Sit with them. Read with them. Spend time with them. Have conversation with them. Do your homework in your marriage. What does your spouse want? What does he or she want? What makes them happy? What makes them feel good? What gives them comfort and security? What gives them certainty and belief in you knowing you may travel on the road, but there's no chance that you're going to step out on your marriage. What's the homework required in the spiritual realm for you? Is it prayer? Is it meditation? Is it scripture study? Is it having faith and belief in something bigger than yourself as well as having faith and belief in yourself? Do your homework, my friends. Powerful people, they do their homework. And there's a big difference between doing your homework just for kicks and giggles and doing your homework to take action. Do your homework. If you don't, you're going to die and you'll become extinct. This is Satem Ngalib reminding you if you're going to create a life of real radical results, a life that you love, it's going to require you to pay the piper every single day so that you can get to the top of the mountain where your prize, promises, and your possibilities are waiting, just waiting for you. The revolution has begun. Will you join me? I'm out. For more info on joining the revolution and living your greatest life of prosperity today, go to www.yourdailyrevolution.com. And join us in waking up, turning your brain on, and prospering today.